Hi all, let's talk about how I passed AWS Security Specialty Certification in just three weeks. We're gonna talk about the exam itself and then the preparation material which I used and how I split my time and how much did it cost me, how I execute that plan in three weeks. After that, I'm gonna cover some exam tips. Let's talk about me to give you an idea. I have a couple of your experience in cloud for both Azure and AWS. In AWS, I first did Solution Architect as a certification directly. And after that, I did Cloud Practitioner. So Cloud Practitioner obviously was very easy. And then I did Security Specialty, which we are talking about now. And there was a specific reason to do Cloud Practitioner before doing Security because I wanted to utilize the 50% discount coupon, which you get when we do Cloud Practitioner. And I just wanted to refresh my knowledge. So I used that coupon to reduce the cost of security exam by 50%. We can talk more about that down the line. Now let's get started. About this certification, this is a specialty certification for security and the code is SCSC01. So what does this exam consist of? It has like five domains, incident response, logging and monitoring, infrastructure security, which is the largest number of question in the exam, then IEM and data protection. And this exam is intended for people who perform security role. The exam validate a candidate ability to effectively demonstrate knowledge about securing the AWS platform. So you need to know basics of security, also specific of security for AWS platform. With my experience, you don't need to be hands-on experience on security to clear this exam as long as you are able to understand the courses and do the practice labs you should be good if you want to read more about the exam you can go to aws website and check out the exam guide let me show you how so if you go to aws certified security specialty homepage, you will land here and i will put this link in the description so here you can simply go and say download the exam guide and you will get all the details like what is the target candidate description about the exam and also like i was explaining uh, how the domains are divided what are the questions so there are a little bit more details you can get about the domain if you want to get the understanding at higher level so as a summary about the exam it's a 65 multiple choice question or multiple response question sometime and there is 72 percent passing marks there is no negative marking so make sure you attempt all the questions and there is no labs in the exam even though you need to practice labs to understand to be able to answer the questions you need to have experience of doing the labs but as such, there is no lab in the exam the exam itself costs 300 dollars and 50 percent discount option is there one of the option is that if you have given some previous exam like practitioner or some other exam you receive a voucher which you can use for the next exam so you can reduce the cost to 150 dollar using that and the exam is like almost three hours 170 minutes to complete the exam the questions are tricky and sometimes lengthy so my experience is don't spend more than three minutes on one question because if you don't track it you will end up not even going through all the questions so since as i mentioned there is no negative marking so the target is to read all the questions and attempt to best of your capability. If you are in doubt, select the best answer. You can flag the questions and move on to next question. But remember, you may not get chance to come back to this. As I said, the questions are lengthy and time is limited. So this is summary about the exam. Now let's get a little bit more into specific. I have covered here all the preparation courses and videos you would need. So I followed one course on a cloud guru AWS Certified Security Specialty by Ryan. And for labs, I use Playground option that comes along with this course in a Cloud Guru. So how the labs work is, they'll give you a temporary user ID password for actual AWS environment. And so that you can use that and try out the things, the configuration, the security settings. And this is also step-by-step -step guidance given in the course let me show you how it looks like so this is the course i was talking about and um, if you see the pricing if you are if you are not already a member of uh, cloud guru you need to 
uh, become a member and this is a 14 hour course we're going to talk more about that and it does hand -on, hands on labs and um, other things but if you see the pricing information so there are a couple of options you can you take yearly membership or you can take monthly membership if you follow the plan which i have shared in this you should be good with uh, 35 per month so within a month you should be able to get it through so you can take this plan or a personal basis you can do this plan but so this is how it looks like once you have the membership and you see members only you get a cloud uh, playground for example this lab when you click on this lab so this you so this gives you the option to start the lab so if, when you start the lab it will give you it will launch the lab and it will give you a user id and password which you can use to execute this lab in parallel so that was a cloud guru course and how the playground option lets you do the lab now for exam practice i used tutorial dojo and wiz labs so tutorial dojo are the very close questions to the exam but the number of questions are limited um, it was like less than 100 uh, questions and then if you want to do more practice then this lab gives you around two to three hundred questions so that's why i practiced uh, both of them and along with that i used free aws resources like you get aws white papers and exam readiness digital training and you get aws certification official practice question sets and you can see all of these on the certification page as i showed you earlier let me show you these things so once you are here if you scroll down we talked about the exam guide if you scroll down further so you see here the sample questions practice questions and this is the digital training which i mentioned it's a two hour training it's a exam readiness aws certified security specialty training so it's a self-paced free uh, two hours training you should do very good content in this and then aws white paper yeah so these are the nine aws white papers as you prepare you will know which area you need to deep dive and you can use these papers from here it's like security pillars security processes etc so this is about all the resources i used and these are good enough for the exam let's talk about how i divided the effort I put everything in this table and let's go through each item one by one so first starting with you need to understand the basics about the exam looking at the exam guide which i showed or courses itself and try to understand what to expect in the exam so that's the initial getting familiar with the exam one hour then is the course uh, the course is like 14 hours but um, I would say keep 16 to 20 hours because sometimes you run it at a slower speed, sometimes you run it at a higher speed, you may need to do laps a couple of times. So 16 to 20 good hours on that course. And while doing the course, you will find some topics you need revisions, right? So you may need to go back to those topics again. So that's put another four hours for the key topic revision. So once you are done with this, then I would say attempt the first test. A cloud guru course itself as a test it's a three hour full-fledged test so it's at the end of the course that is your first attempt after that you will know where you need more revisions and where you are doing good because it gives you result in a section wise so after that i would say get into tutorial dojo test it's a multiple small test grouped into different domains uh, you can target three hours to that and the good thing is about this test when you get the question wrong you get the explanation which continues to increase your knowledge same for biz lab exam so once you're done with tutorial dojo you can spend good amount of time four to ten hours on topic wise section and test under biz lab exams these are also pretty detailed explanation you can see when you are having an answer wrong and it also gives you a summary that which area overall you need to improve and which area you are doing good so after that it's a aws white paper and faqs as i showed there are good amount of nine white papers for security based upon which area you want to deep dive you can go through those white papers and there are like faqs in those white paper you can go through those and then we talk about that 
AWS Exam Readiness Digital Training. It's a two hour self paced free training. You should go through that. This should be pretty much getting you ready for the exam. After that, you can do a attempt on AWS certification official practice question test. This is also a set of 20 questions as I showed and the link is in the description. It's like one hour, but this is pretty close to the real exam. So by now you should be able to clear it without any issues. And again, if you still see some topics to be revised, some topic to be remembered, then you can do a final notes and revision keep two hours for that and then I'll keep one more test from Wizlab exam at the end just to check you are able to clear that without any problem and then you're all set then you take official exam keep four hours three hours is exam itself one hour before and after so four hours for that so in a total it is gonna be 45 to 60 hours journey and it all depends how much deep dive you do and how much how many times you need to go back and revise thing but 45 to 60 hours should be good enough if you divide this into weeks so you can key first two topic that is getting the exam course itself in week one then the second topic could be some revision and test which is like a cloud guru test tutorial dojo and with with lab exams then week three could be more getting into AWS white paper resources, exam readiness, digital training or practice test, final revision in the exam itself. So this is how I divided into three weeks to get it through. This is another view of those three weeks exam. Like uh, you can spend like 16 hours approximately per week, which is like every day on a weekday spending two hours on a weekend, try to spend three hours to give you 16 hours in a week. And for these three weeks, as I mentioned, first knowing the exam and resources and doing the main course week one, that's your target. Week two is the revision of key concept, testing your knowledge by trying different tests and studying the misses basis through the test itself. And week three is your final AWS free resources revision, doing a final test and then the final exam. Let's talk about the cost. So the Cloud Guru course, as I showed you, is around $35 if you are able to do it in a month. And the AWS exam fees itself is $300 and 50% uh, off you get if you have some voucher in case you have done some other AWS exam earlier. Wizlab practice test, they're around $15 and tutorial dojo is around $20. So total you spend around 370 bucks. And if you have a voucher from a previous exam, you spend around 220 bucks. About exam experience and some tips. The tough part was timing, as you mentioned around three minutes you get per questions. I felt the questions are lengthy and some need multiple reads. Elimination process helped. You can figure it out what is the wrong answer and you eliminate the wrong answer. And then you need to select sometime best between the two answer, right? So the tip is use your best judgment and move on. Keep a very close eye on the time and don't spend more than three minutes per questions because you will end up not going through all the questions. And there is uh, no negative marking. So just give your best judgment and click it. I mean, you can put a flag to revisit later in case you get time. So what happened after the exam? So once you're done with the exam, you will get a result pass on the screen. You won't get much detail on that day, but you will get score you achieved, section wise score performance, like need improvement versus make competency in few working days as an email. And you get a coupon 50% for the next exam and some other benefits like linking to AWS community and free AWS sample exams, logos, etc. And this certification is valid for three years. That's it. Thank you for watching and good luck for your exam. Please subscribe, share so that others can also get benefit. Bye for now.